Somali people are one of the nicest in the world. I'm sure we all have Somali friends all around the world. But today we're going to dive deep into their culture, their food, and their lifestyle. They have their own unique language, but a lot of them speak Arabic. They are all Somali. The Somali population is located in this part of the map. Eastern Africa, in the Horn of Africa. It is a dream for them, for all Somalis to live in one state. However, they've been separated by colonization and tribal conflicts. The present Somali nation was created in 1960 by merging two former colonies, Italian Somalia and British Somaliland. Today we have arrived to Somalia, northern Somalia to be precise. Somaliland, in other words, the land of the Somalis. In order to get to know this large hidden part of Somalia, or the Somali dream. You gotta have banana in everything. No really? questions asked. No country in the world recognizes them. My name is Samia. I uh, moved here about a year and a half ago. I've kind of just been done with Canada and rediscovering my roots, my homeland. Okay guys, we have arrived at Somaliland. The airport is right behind us. Samia is here to pick us up. Samia again. Hello. <laughs> She's from Somaliland. Yes, welcome to Somaliland. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Such a strange feeling. So Somaliland is an unrecognized country. We've been a country for 31 years. Similar to Taiwan, yeah, how it's an unrecognized region. France talk Djibouti, Britain talk Somaliland, and Italy talk Somalia. They occupied the whole of Africa. North and South Somalia got their independence in 1960. They united as one nation, the Republic of Somalia. Djibouti got its independence from France in 1977. But they opted not to join Somalia, despite most of its population being Somali. In 1969, there was a military coup. Muhammad Sayyid Barri ruled Somalia with a communist regime. He killed anyone who resisted and ruled Somalia for 20 years until people and the tribes rebelled against him and overturned his rule in 1991. After 18 years, only because Somalia was not in agreement to certain desire of the Soviet Union, Somalia had to be banished. Is that a seriety of a state? No. Somalia was friend. Somalia was not dependent. And then the tribes fought over power and entered into a civil war that tore apart Somalia. So northern Somalia seceded and declared the independence of a state called Somaliland, the land of the Somalis. Since then, this unrecognized country has been living in peace and serenity. It has its own government and its own parliament. On the other hand, southern Somalia is in a state of political instability and unrest. Gentlemen, we'll start with the open currency exchange market. The biggest street market for currency exchange in the world. You can't find this anywhere else. People exchange currencies in the streets. It's not a usual market, it's an open market. You're gonna be a millionaire today. Yeah. <laughs> an entire street of people buying and selling <laughs> currency. This is People need cash when they have weddings and other occasions. Otherwise, people here rarely use cash because their currency is very weak and is excessively printed and counterfeited. People mostly use mobile phone payments now, which is the easiest way to pay. So you can pay directly from your phone to his account. Wait, you didn't bet anything? No, I already typed it in, like I texted uh, a number to him. You'll find numbers as soon as you leave the airport. You just type the number and pay. We all have our own mobile money transfer system and it's actually one of the best in the world because anyone can use it and you're not being charged a surcharge. You can actually help her with your phone. She has a paper with her account number on it. You can transfer money directly to her. It's everywhere, in stalls and shops, you can just use your phone. You can weigh yourself and pay just like that. That's his number. There's an app called Zod. It's like that video in China. Uh -huh. We send money electronically. Without cash? Yes, without cash. 
When I take my phone out, I put in a code, and then I put in the amount, and it's transferred right away. You can take money out of my phone, send it to him, and he'll give me cash in return. You have to open an account with a telecommunications company, get a SIM, then buy a simple phone, no need for internet connection, deposit money into your account, and then you can use it to pay. The telephone company is like a mini bank. This is $100. Imagine, it's so safe in this country that people leave gold and money in the street. It's covered? Yep, they just cover it like that and they go pray. He went to pray. He only covered it with a prayer mat. So this place is safe, incredibly safe. Top secret. So when you go to pray, you keep the money here? Yes. It's safe? Always, yes. It's safe without even... We have learned a lot of things during this trip. One cool shell high Somali people. Yes. We love you. That's all made. Take a look at how they knock on doors in Somalia. <laughs> Welcome to Somaliland. We are very pleased to see you guys here. Well, Sela Idas, which is originated from Sela. When you're walking down the street, you stop at a local tent. They serve you coffee from Ethiopia because Somaliland borders Ethiopia and many Somalis live in Ethiopia in Somali lands currently occupied by Ethiopia. And they also burn incense. Incense is very abundant here. They even export it to the world. Yeah, this is really popular street food. It's called Fadira. We went out to try the local food in the streets at night. Okay, as you can see, this is a pie made in the street. Somalis eat everything with bananas, how strange. And they even add eggs and chicken, and they cut it all in front of you. And then tomatoes and vegetables, and he wraps it up and serves it in a parcel. This is a Somali pie from Djibouti. What's your name? My name is Alibo. <laughs> Look what he got us. Is this dish from Djibouti? Djibouti and Yemeni. Faster than the audience. But there's still a lot more to come. This is a traditional dish in Somaliland, guys. We're gonna try it now. The food tour was different from any country in the world. All these dishes are new to me. Even the names of the dishes are also new to me. Alright guys, today we're having two of the famous Somali breakfasts, sweet pancakes and liver. You are my guests today. She poured the dough in spirals. The sugar is a personal preference. It makes it sweeter. And then you pour it like this. Really? But I love tea with milk. You do this in the name of Allah. You eat every morning? Every morning, right after Fajr, so 6.30. This is a Somali dish. They eat it every morning. They sprinkle sugar like this, okay? And then they pour milk tea on it. We and the Yemenis are very harmonious. Harmonious? Yes. I myself lived in Yemen for a while. And when I returned to Somalia, it felt the same. Not the slightest you difference. You were born in Yemen? Literally. Yes, I was born in Yemen. Sana'a. Sana Did you go to Yemen by boat? Yes, I went by boat. It's a two-day trip. There are a lot of Yemenis in Somalia. The culture and traditions and a lot of other things are similar between us. We both have the ability to adapt to any country. So as you can see guys, the traditional food here, we at a restaurant inside Hargisa. Now this is a very popular dish, pasta, yes, the Italian pasta. Because the Italians were once here. Somali pasta, have you ever tried it? Comment below. With potatoes and bananas. Somali spaghetti. 
And don't forget the bananas. No question. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Bananas, camel meat, and camel milk, especially bananas. They eat it with rice, with meat. We've added it. Now we say in the name of Allah. The banana culture is interesting. Somaliland gets its bananas from Mogadishu from the south. Somalia is one of the biggest banana exporters in Africa. Catch up with banana and meat potentially in the whole world. Bananas goes with everything. The bananas, very important. Yes, everything with your hand. Even the salad? Everything. Apparently, I've got Somali roots. Jihad Warsami is his new name. Jihad Warsami is a very common Somali name. Really? Farah Warsami. I'm honored. God bless you. Get me some more ketchup, please. This is called Samayad. It's like a pie sold in the streets. It's like a traditional pie made the Somali way. We are camel herders. We take this with us to the desert and tough places. It stays edible for up to three to four weeks. Their main source of meat are camels. They consume a lot of camel meat, incredible amounts of camel meat. And their camel market is one of the largest in the world, third only to Egypt and Saudi Arabia. Also camel's milk every single morning. Trade. It was open to the outside world in terms of trade. And livestock trade was the foundation. We went to check out the camel market. So that nobody knows the price, <laughs> they cover their hands. The cheapest camel is $200, the most expensive is $1,500. He covers it and shakes my hand vigorously. Resources come to Somalia from Somali immigrants abroad when they send money to their relatives here. Somaliland and Saudi Arabia are brothers. This is the cultural hub, place you can get culture food, see the culture and enjoy the breeze. We got away, we love the city. We're going to try some Somali food in this calm area it'll be a good chance to get to know Somali culture. We're gonna start by trying the food in the name of Allah. This is all healthy food. That's camel milk, camel meat, corn, and beans. This soup here is called sugu and digir. The camels are everywhere, guys. We're sitting here and the camels are all around us. Even on the way here, all we saw was camels. Even right behind us, <laughs> in the background. The word for camel in Somali is gil. Just like this, huh? Mm hmm. Hmm. It's a tomato soup. It tastes like msegga, but without eggplant. This one is delicious, delicious. Mahsini. Love you guys. Camel tea. Ever milk. Camel meat. <laughs> Dried camel meat. It's called muqbad. Khat is very popular in Yemen, and here also. It has spread quickly recently. It's a bad habit in Yemen and Somalia. Ghat culture is popular in Somalia. It's a stimulant herb that they import from Ethiopia. This is Ghat. There's a lot of Ghat here, huh? Yeah. Is it sold in shops? This is the Ghat market. Hmm. A special market just for Ghat, where different varieties are sold like this type. There's another type called Mismar and another called Gyps. It's considered like a stimulant. Stimulant? Yeah. Yemenis use it during working hours. They store it in their mouths. It is used a lot here and also in Yemen. Uh, if you see these red things, know it's from Somaliland. It's ripe. We eat it every morning. Every morning they bring in a new batch. This is Somali tea. Unique Somali recipe. The guy comes back at night and collects all the cups. Somali tea with camel's milk. On our last day, we went to a spot that has engravings from the Thamud tribe era. It's very old, thousands of years old. It's called Las Gil. Yep, we have our officer here with us. Uh, any foreigner traveling outside or between cities, if you're crossing a border checkpoint, you have to have an officer with you. Protect? Yeah. We're trying to go to a natural reserve. We hired a police officer because there are a lot of checkpoints. They say these drawings are more than 5,000 years old. It's an interesting mountain. Comes the wind so fast, overtakes the 
Look at how people live outside the cities. In the middle of the desert, they built it themselves from recycled clothes. The frame is wood covered with actual clothes. Look. Isra. Isra. God bless. And this one? Igra. Igra and Isra. Yeah, it's been her generations for years that have been living here. So she's just been passed down this land. So what she eat or drink here? This is uh, camel milk, goat milk. Isra and Igra. Her daughters. Okay guys, we got out of Hargisa, the capital. There are other cities as well. We went out and drove for about two hours until we reached the coast. Yeah, to the ocean. This city is called Berbera. We then visited this coastal city in Somaliland. Called Berbera, it houses the port of Berbera that the UAE has recently taken over its management. Somaliland is very close to Yemen, which contributes to its economy exporting to Saudi Arabia and other countries. This is called Burta Sheikh, so Mountain of Sheikh. That's the name. The terrain suddenly changed to a mountainous terrain. To end things off, we'd like to thank Samia for all the time she chose to spend with us. She doesn't speak Arabic. We usually give a thank you gift to everyone that hosts us. <laughs> she doesn't know that. We want to we say thank you. This is so everyone. No. <laughs> no, yeah, really. No. Are you kidding me? Yeah. No. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just shocked. I can't believe it. I can't believe it! <laughs> you didn't watch the video. I clearly didn't! <laughs> Somalia, we will visit you soon, in Mogadishu. In this documentary, guys, all the sounds that we used as usual, we're from Epidemic Sound. I've been using it for more than two years. The music we used in this video is Somali. The guy's called Ali. All the music used can be found on the website, not to mention the sound effects. The link in the description. You can get 30 days free. Thank you guys for all your support. We're almost at 10 million subscribers. Goodbye.